Hello and welcome to the next turn of this YouTuber multiplayer series of Dominions 4 where things have really been going down. Asphodel is the rising star if you can call corpse infested destruction rising stars but there they are and everyone seems to be trying to bandy in against them which is great for me. So let's have a look at what happened this turn. There was a battle on Amurikia, um, Syria? Who, who knows? I don't know. But uh... I, I came in here with a large force, right? Here it is. Um, just to make sure to try and keep integrity of the force, not trying to lose anything. And, um, I don't know. You might suggest that's a little bit of overkill. I don't mind, because I win and I get to kill the things. So, fortunately, I'd say this is a fairly uneventful turn for Omp. And considering recent events, that's great. <laughs> Got these neutral woodsmen actually doing something. Um, now nah, they've been around. Probably not the best value for money, but considering how much early aggression I had, I, I don't regret buying them so much. But as some people have been suggesting, I really do need to calm down on recruiting neutrals, which is going to happen. An unexpected as event has occurred in Stone Woods. <laughs> Seven white doves were flying east. This is interpreted by some as an omen of loss and peace. Unrest minus three. Well, they are wrong. <laughs> I can't. With great confidence to tell you that is wrong. Um, I've got alteration, next level of alteration, which is sweet. Um, level two now. So the main reason for this one was Earth Meld. This is a spell pretty much all my Earth Mages can cast. At range 20, every effect five. Uh, the target soldiers start to sink into the ground. The affected troops must struggle to free themselves from the ground. During the struggle, they are unable to move or attack. Great. So I can just hopefully hit a group of elite black sentinels with that and hopefully that'll be great. It says that they can't move or attack. Is that the way with Earth Grip as well? If the target is affected, he'll be unable to move unless he succeeds in breaking free. Yeah, so Earth Mode actually is better in all the ways. So definitely gonna use that. Uh, I'm gonna get to construction three finally. I want Legion of Steel. I want to Damn yeah, I want Legion of Steel. It's a it's plus three protection. It's there's nothing bad about that. Uh, I, I really want construction of magic items, but I think I, I just have to head for evocation. Um, there, and I'll get construction for later on. I, I was really hoping that that would work out, but priorities, eh? This game was much, much more brutal than I thought. And for the first time, I felt like I actually have a little bit of agency. There's Asphodel has finally been evicted from my lands in inverted commas. Um, they moved there and all the lands that were once mine are now mine again uh, but my empire is still appallingly small compared to everyone else surely so everyone is trying to or well, it's actually been led by Shinyamu is trying to organize everyone to move against Asphodel and that's great I'm not entirely sure how committed everyone else is I think Shinyamu is I don't know how Kamisa expects me to conduct an offensive. I just, I have to eco for a bit. I mean, I absolutely will attack, but I, if I want to stay in this game, I have to grow stronger. And that means letting other people fight as for for a moment. Uh, I got thought lost this throne. I want to see what's happened. I expect it might have been Ermor. When I had a scout up here, didn't really see anything of particular interest. Um, got a scout over here. Um, yeah, Shinyamu has this throne. Now what's notable is that we have a, a, a email group now. That's where a lot of the communication between us is happening. And in that email he has shown where Asphodel is and where he is and basically suggesting where everyone should attack. And um, he pretends that he doesn't have this. He labeled this as Asphodel's. I don't know if that was intentional but he that was deceit on his part. Um, maybe he doesn't well who knows, but I know he was lying, uh, I don't know if it was intentional, I'm not going to bring it up um, because I want him to carry on fighting Asphodel. Um, where else are my spies? I've got another spy over here, I'm going to keep this spy here because I want to see if any units are coming up towards me. Um, this spy can go towards As um, Death Star Tech and then we'll put another spy here. Now the problem I had was this, I want these provinces and I also want these provinces. And I've got this army. And I've got this guy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, what's really nice about this group of provinces is that they all border White Marsh. 
So no, if he's there, no matter where he is on this route, he is always two moves away from my capital. So that makes me feel a little bit safer and secure about things. So what we need is I'm going to send Conrad um, here, and he's going to do the counterclockwise maneuver around White Marsh. And uh, yeah, collect those promises, collect those incomes. And then I'm going to send Yelik down here to capture to capture this province and this province. Um, yeah, and on the way there, I've got Stark here. He's going to take what army is available, and he's going to go to Anfalia. And I'm going to recruit some units in Anfalia just because they can immediately go into that army that's going to <coughs> uh, ball, uh, come out of Borel. Uh, yeah, so I really need to, I really, really need to get my second fort done. It's been super delayed. Um, our research has been delayed. A side session has been delayed. Speaking of gems, I've got a two air gem income, one water gem, and one astral gem, and five earth gems. These fire gems were from an event. I really should put some defense in here. Just a little. Two. I, I think when you got to 11, they've got a chance to capture Petroleum Spies, or I don't know. Or maybe let's just leave it as that, just to have a token. I really, really need the money. So let's make sure the army is up correctly. I've got, yeah, this is fine. 45 attack and the splinter set them all behind. Uh, that's fine. So these guys, they got the heavy infantry. These armies have been split up, right? So. And might as well just hold and attack. The squad will hold their position for two turns before advancing. I just fire. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. I want to, uh, so close to enemies. Okay. And then I'm going to tell the heavy infantry to hold. So what I'm doing here is just, you know, let my archers stay back. Let my heavy infantry stay back behind the archers and just attack from range for a bit before the heavy infantry starts to engage. So that's what I'm doing, I split up the armies, send this force up here, send this force down here to collect these two provinces, I think they'll be strong enough. Um, when I get to here, I'm going to send some reinforcements from here up to White Marsh to get that throne. One of the big reasons I'm not focusing on this throne is, if you look at the thrones and who has thrones, it, it's just Shinyamu, he has one throne, one level one throne. I am much too weak in this game to be a leader in Thrones. I'll paint such a huge target on me, so I'm just not doing it. And the benefit I get from this throne is not that great for me, really, I don't think. It spreads dominion a lot, yeah, but um, I just, I, I, I think it makes me much, much too much of a target. I'm still trying to play, hey, I'm the weak Ulm guy, I got beat down so bad, and that's mostly true. I want that to stop being true at some point. So that's what I'm trying to build up, but I'm going to play that for as long as I can. I want to appear as not a threat um, and, you know, being 100% vengeful against Asphodel. So Asphodel had a big army. It moved here. Hopefully does tactic. He said he was going to try to do something for us. Shinyamu is bothering here. Shinyamu also said that there was a large Asphodelic army down south. Hard to know how true that is. I've got a spy who is definitely going to keep tabs on the situation. So I've got two spies in Asphodel territory, which is great. Um, I've got this spy up here, this spy um, up here, and I'm recruiting another spy. And this spy is just going to come up here and basically see what is the deal up here. So hopefully the next few turns are going to be relatively uneventful. The one thing that's really been... I, I, don't, I just have no idea how well defended this province is. I, I just don't know. I can check the pre. Can I check the previous turn? No, the spy was there. Um, I could just be literally like two or three or four guys. So I could technically send an army under Derman, the commander, and just to see what's what. Or I could not. Jeez. Do I do that? It's in my cap circle. 
But then this army can just come straight back and take it. Uh, look, I'm just going to sit tight for a while. I'm just I'm building guardians, and I'm going to keep doing that until I get a nice force of guardians, and hopefully a miracle will happen. That's kind of where I'm at. I just I hope the other guys can take down Ermon Asphodel sufficiently enough for me to build up. Well, no one gaining particularly too much stronger. So that's where I'm at. Wish me luck. I hope you see you next time. Okay, bye.